Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, and I'm here to do a video for the sign of um <laughs> see. This is the sign of what am I doing? Oh my god. Libra, sorry, this is for Libra, okay? For the sign of Libra. All right, Libra. Sorry about that. I, I I just I've been I'm doing a lot of readings and stuff like that in between doing these readings for you to make sure you get these out. I had to get them out early this time because because my my uh, calendar's filled up for February going into March. Okay, um, so excuse me for that. So Libra, we're talking about you guys. Okay, um, Libra. Hmm, it's interesting. It's an interesting spread I'm looking at here. I will tell you the story line that I'm seeing, okay? You're going to jump right into it, Libra. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I'm looking at this um, Seven of Cups. You could be dealing with a can uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, there's some confusion going on around you right now. Um, or some of you... Some of you may have your options open regarding a love relationship or a, 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 or a relationship. But there's definitely some confusion for some of you. Then on this one, on your clarifiers for that, I got the Eight of Cups. Um, the Eight of Cups is about, you know, uh, some loss, some sadness, some depression regarding a love relationship for some of you, okay? But all's not lost, though. I can tell you that much. Listen, okay, right straight up, uh, Libra, you got the Ace of Cups, all right? Which is talking about mad love, okay? Somebody being madly in love, overflow of love, or overflow of um, happiness and joy, bliss, you name it. Your cup runneth over here, okay? For some of you Libras out there, all right? Then next to it, you got the sun card. So a lot of you are happy, you know, with this love or this. It could be marriage, too, for some of you or just a, a, long, a committed relationship and you're happy about it. Okay, you got the sun card. You come full circle here. Okay, and you got the sun shining on you, which is happiness, brings bright, you know, brightness. It brightens up your day, brightens up your, your heart, your soul, and your spirit because, you know, you're in the planetaries. Remember, we're spirit. We're really spirit beings, okay? So we operate under the universal law of happiness, love, peace, you know, stars, you know, the sun. All that is all about your planetary uh, alignments and your um, come full circle. A lot of you Libras, congratulations to you, um, it, whether it's a marriage or a long-term commitment. Um, there was some battles and struggles that you're going through, uh, but they're behind you now, but you, they still want you to, you know, move forward because some of you are wounded soldiers. Okay. Some of you are, you know, been wounded and damaged or, you know, been dogged out, you know, through some relationships in the past, but you, you, you're making it through, you're pulling it through. It's behind you now. Um, or will be behind you if anybody out there is going through some type of struggles. That's what the Nine of Wands is about. Somebody who's been wounded, but they keep moving on. It also could mean that somebody, you know, maybe just got out of prison or jail or something of that nature. That's what I'm hearing. And um, But that's behind you too, whoever you are, okay? That's behind you. Could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. A can, uh, cancer Pisces or Scorpio or you may be dealing with an earth sign which is a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn okay and this is telling me that somebody's you know working really really hard on themselves or you know or a relationship because that's what this is love readings so somebody's working very hard on a relationship it shows here persevering you just just, just moving forward just keeping it moving and, and you know getting some success out of it because it's growing you know they're trying to make this thing grow Libra you're trying to make something grow here or somebody's trying to make some <laughs> excuse me grow with you <laughs> um so we go next is the three of wands where somebody's you know waiting you know waiting on something you're waiting after all this hard work this perseverance on this a relationship for some of y'all you're okay you're in a happy marriage or a happy long-term commitment because you worked hard for it you know um diligently um you know non-stop on this situation now you're waiting for your ship to come in 
you know you're waiting for your your rewards okay for your hard work on some type of relationship or somebody's working hard you know on this relationship for you okay having your back because you know you've been wounded um moving on here to clarify the uh three of wands you got the four of wands so we go from three of wands to the four of wands where you know somebody's waiting on a situation which is a love situation after putting in a lot of hard work and dedication and it happens because you got a happy home that's what the four of wands mean some type of happy home and it's stable because that's what those four uh wands in the uh planted in the ground and they're even and balanced so you're in a stable happy uh home situation whether it's a live-in situation or whether you're planning on living in with somebody or you're married to somebody okay everything is stable and balanced well balanced at the home front for a lot of you libras out there okay great moving on we got the two of cups two of cups could be dealing with the uh cancer pisces or some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer pisces or scorpio and this is you know some type of you know seeing eye to eye with somebody you know in a relationship or a marriage it's like you see eye to eye you're both equally yoked okay you're equally yoked um your cups are even as you you know clinging them together you're looking staring at each other in each other's eyes so this is like a perfect combination here uh in a relationship and all looks well so far but but let me get to this hold on to your britches okay we got the devil here what's the devil doing here uh libra what's going on with this devil here now the devil is an energy okay that's all it is it's just an energy it's not a person okay and the devil always could be good in the love could be good sometimes for us because sometimes we need to experience some hard things before we get to the good things and the devil is nothing but temptation so i feel like would it be into the two of cups with two things seem to be going on okay here but there's some temptation and it may be somebody from the past that a blast from the past is what i'm hearing for some of y'all um that may be trying to interfere or tempt some of you or you may be doing this to someone else something just out of the blue comes up and say wow uh just when you thought everything was going good i'm back some shit like that um He's here to tempt something. He's here to try to screw something over here. Be careful with the devil here, okay? Whether it's you doing this to someone or someone's doing this to you because you're already in a relationship, committed, and you're happy for a lot of you, okay? But there's some temptation here with the devil being here, okay? So with the, be careful, uh, Libra, of that kind of energy, Everything's going well, you know, and, and whoever this person is, they may be a Capricorn, Pisces, or I'm sorry, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. This this woman or man, it just depends who's watching the video, is single and they got it going on for themselves. They're very much in control of their life. Uh, they're beautiful, you know, or handsome. Um, and they're wealthy or, you know, well-to-do. Um, and And attractive you know attractive or handsome they got it going on and now i believe this is the temptation that's trying to break in what you got going on already uh libra here we got the four of pentacles to verify the nine of pentacles so there's some heavy earth sign here going on with this connection with this temptation okay um with the four of pentacles is saying you you know, a lot of you Libra, male or females, y'all might hold back on this temptation. It's tempting, yes. It could be somebody from the past that you caught up on that you used to be in a relationship with. It could be an ex. It could be anybody. An ex I'm picking up pretty much. And um, you, you may be holding back. You know, you might hold back on that temptation because you know what you got to lose here, Libra. You know what you got to lose. So you may be holding back on your emotions and feelings and not, you know, giving in to this temptation because you're holding back. You're holding on like, you know, hey, I can't do this. Good for you, Libra. I can't do this. I'm happy. So 
with the chariot, which is major arcana car showing that you're all ass. You're like, I'm out. I'm sorry. I got to keep it plain and simple. You know, hey, I ain't got time. It's like, y'all, I'm out of here. I can't, I can't dip and dab in this, even though it's tempting. Even though it looked good, even though it's, you know, somebody I used to know and was tied up with or somebody I just met, it could have been at a job, you know, it could have been a job situation where you met somebody at your job and they got attracted to you and you're very attractive and they're very attractive. It's some temptation, but you're, you're going, nah, mm -mm. can't do it. I got to haul ass up out of, I'm out of here is what Virgo Libra is saying. Sorry. And we got the double chariot. <laughs> Look, that's your clear. Look, this is your card and your reading and your timeline. And here's your uh, clarification. Same thing. The chariot. You got the double chariot where you're like, you're freaking getting up out of Dodge in a hurry. You ain't playing. You're on your way out like a mug. Look at this. <laughs> Two Your clarifier and your uh, reading card. Two, the both the same. The chariot. You're at, you're out of here. You're not going. You're you're not you're not gonna fall for the temptation that's in your face. You're not doing it. Yay, yay, Libra. Okay. Now we're looking on here at the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords. It just depends. Male, female, watching a video, uh, sitting on their throne, real pretty. It's like you hauled ass and just went on home. That's what I'm feeling like. You just went home and chilled, relaxed, and you got your sword up saying, you know what? Please don't approach me no more with that stuff. Um, I, can't you see I'm a happily married man or I'm in a commitment where I'm happy? I'm with my soulmate. What do I need you for? Even though it is a little tempting, you're a little beautiful, you got it going on, but I got it going on too. And I ain't going to lose out on my soulmate. I'm in love. All right. So you got your, you know, you're protecting yourself. All right. And you may carry the energy of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That's you doing this. You're protecting yourself. You're running. You're running from that situation. You're holding back. You're not falling for the tempting. And then you're sit. You're, you're running. You home now. You're relaxed. You're chilling. And you got that sword up just in case they try to make a phone call or text you or something or knock on your door. You're like, don't come near me, please. I'm comfy. I'm comfy, cozy. You know, I'm okay. I'm cool. All right. Just don't come near me or this sword is going to just like cut it. It's like you're cutting it off. You're cutting it off quick and a hurry. Good for you. This is pretty, this is really good. Okay. Now we got the nine of wands where, you know, you know, there was some battles in the past. You know, I believe this person was from the past and they try to come back in um and you know rock your boat some they want to rock the boat rock the boat baby rock the boat don't tip the boat over rock the boat don't rock the boat baby that's another song too y'all can look it up on youtube it's an old school jam okay that's what this <laughs> reminds me of somebody coming in trying to rock the boat but you got your shit in control libra that's why i love y'all y'all are very balanced people you know how to keep the balance okay you, you know you know how Y'all can go off when you want to. That's only if somebody, you know, mess with you or come too close, you know, they're going to get a hit of that sword right there. And that's the sword of truth. That's what air signs are about, the sword of truth. They're going to tell you how it is. And like it or not, they don't care because they don't, you, they, they ain't control of them swords. Now, any other sign walking around with these, with these swords in their hand, like, you know, they can, you know, do some damage and stuff. We don't do no damage with our swords because we were born with them. We know what to do it. We know when to use them and we know when not to use them. Except if we're drunk or high or something like that. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I ain't. But anyway, um, moving forward, the Ace of Wands here is like you, you have a lot of passion and love right now for your partner because it's sitting right up underneath the two of, of, of the two of, the hell the two of cups which meaning a love connection you know uh, a marriage a, a, a soulmate partner somebody y'all see eye to eye with you, there's a lot of passion and love making there y'all be getting it going on and stuff you're happy with all that you, you, you don't need nothing else you happy with what you got is what I'm seeing Libra I'm so proud of y'all really I am I don't see too much negative stuff here for you Libra it's just like you got your life under control all right and then we got the Seven of Cups to where Seven of Cups is telling me with this reading that um, 
and it's underneath the devil card. So, you know, there may be, um, was a little, you were a little confused, a little tempted. Yes, you were confused. You were tempted because it was somebody, I believe, from the past that you knew and had a relationship with or somebody at work that you met and you were attracted to. They was attracted to you and something was about the, and but you was thinking about what you got to lose here and you just backed off and said, no, I can't do it. So it was a little confusing here, but you're okay. Um... You saw even some of y'all, I believe, seeing this person had plenty of options, too, because they're beautiful or they're handsome, okay? And they had plenty of options. They got plenty of, you know, choices to make, you know, when it comes to that. They don't have to be interfering with your life or you don't have to be. And vice versa, you can turn this around. You could have been doing this to someone else, Libra, okay? You could have been doing this to someone else. But I, um, I do see, you know, you putting that kind of drama to an end you're 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 walking we walked away from it um with the eight of cups and you know you're you're still standing okay that's all behind you now whatever that was trying to come in it's all behind you again uh, on the bottom of the deck and the, you had the seven the seven of which you which came out in your reading as well see these two two sevens um Sevens are like blessed. The, the number seven is about blessings as well. And um, it's about a spirituality too. Okay. Um, these double chariots is what cracked me up. It was like, you know what? It, it's just like you just ran like no other. You just like took off. Like, and then went home and sat down and chilled. And like, I dare you to you know, come mess with me and my family. <laughs> but I don't have nothing. Oh, let me give you your bonus card, Libra, for almost forgot. Look, it's patience. You had the patience to endure, okay? Patience came up. And for some of you who may not have patience, have patience. You're okay. You're good, okay? Libra, this is a very, very, very interesting and beautiful reading, how everything fell in and came the way it did. I'm so proud of y'all. Um, um, that's it. Reading done. Thank you. Thank you all for viewing my channel. Thank you for um, sharing my videos all over the place and social media. Thank you for the beautiful, wonderful comments that you send me, very, you know, saying that, you know, the readings are spot on. I'm so happy because I do put my meditation, my time into that to make sure um, I'm speaking in, in spirit, not myself. You know, I'm excluding my flesh and letting the spirit speak through me, you know, through the most high spirit guides, ancestors. I call in prints all the time, you know, in my readings, um, and my brother, <laughs> different friends that passed over as a spirit. I call them in as well to help me. So maybe that's why they coming out so accurate the way they are, you know, and I'm just letting them, you know, give me the story what they, cause they can see it all. Oh, I can't, you know, I, they can see it, but they can, you know, work through me to send the messages through you. So I really appreciate you telling me that, you know, these messages are really resonating with you. I get, I get them every single day and I'm so happy. I'm not that boasting or bragging i'm just so happy that i am able to get the message across now if any of you need a personal private reading just cater to yourself because these readings are just general um you can just you know reach me below in the uh, comment section it got all my information on how to get in touch with me i love each and every one of you um take care of yourselves hope to see you mid-month depending on my schedule it's been so hectic the past a few months here and it's hard for me to get out mid months so don't count on it for sure for sure but hopefully i will get to it if, if it comes out you'll see it you know what i'm saying so keep your head up love y'all thank you so much love is all there is and hey love is all that ever be my god talk to y'all later bye